to the ERP. So let's go ahead and look at a product. Um, obviously, the big commerce system, as I mentioned before, uh, very easy to work with. Um, this site, honestly, I designed this myself, put it together in a matter of days um, with ease. It, it, the system has, it offers lots of templates and you can, um, you know, put these sites together relatively quickly. So let's go in and look at one of these cameras. So whenever I pull up this camera page, this is, you know, we've all seen pages like this before. It's your typical product details page. And what we're seeing here, if we really drill into it, we're seeing a title, we're seeing photographs, we're seeing SKU information, attributes about the particular cus uh, product. We're seeing inventory levels. If we go down a little further, here's the full description. We even have videos that are coming in about this particular product. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this item, I'll add this to my cart. One other thing I wanna show you while we're here, notice that the price of this item is $14.99. Right now I'm on the site as an anonymous user, as a guest, I'm not logged into the site. But let's go ahead and sign in. I'm gonna sign in as a B2B customer and then we'll go back to that camera page. What I wanna show you is that now that I'm logged in, see the camera is now $12.99. That price is adjusting because I'm that B2B customer and I have customer specific pricing that's configured inside the ERP. That's pushing information out to big commerce to let it know when this B2B customer logs in, we need to adjust their prices um, accordingly. And that can be on a um, product by product basis. It could be an entire product category. It could be all products. You have the flexibility inside the ERP um, to, to make those kinds of adjustments, to, to apply customer specific pricing uh, to the most appropriate products. You can also configure it so that uh, one B2B buyer has access to a fraction of your inventory, but another B2B buyer has access to all of your inventory. You can control that customer experience. Again, it's all managed from inside the ERP. It gets pushed out to uh, big commerce. Now, the, when we were looking at the camera, the camera is what I call a simple product. It's just one product, one SKU, one price. But it's very common in the e-commerce world to sell things like apparel. Apparel is my favorite universal um, example, like t-shirts. Now, when you're looking at a t-shirt, from a customer's point of view, especially in a B2C world, they're looking at this t-shirt as one product. But in reality, it's not one product because it comes in many different colors and sizes. And these, each of the combinations of color and size represent a different skew inside of the ERP. So when I drill down to this white t-shirt in the medium size, I'm given new information, like the current stock for this t-shirt, it updates the skew. And if I jump down to, let's say a 2X, notice that the price even updates.